How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again with another Monomator tutorial. So something I got asked recently that I thought would be really cool and fun to try and do is how do you make the items explode out of a character just as they would in Minecraft when your character dies? So there's probably uh, more ways to do this, but I'm going to go with one that I know that would probably work and uh, see if we can get some good results with that. So first of all, let's just do something kind of silly here and have Steve kind of suddenly drop dead. So we're just going to have him kind of plop over here and just have him, you know, do what a character does. He's like, ah, he dies. <laughs> so something like that. All right, so I went ahead and just threw in a little bit of a particle effect there. So you would have this kind of thing happen just as you might similarly have happen in Minecraft. Just some dust particles from the character dying. And of course, we want Steve to go invisible at this point. So what happens is he just collapses back and and poofs out of existence unfortunately for Steve so uh there you go and at this point you might would want you know all these items to explode out of Steve so let's just go ahead and spawn in a few of these items that we're gonna want to have uh let's just say he's gonna have a diamond sword and we're gonna put that let's just whoop no wrong thing okay gotta select the right item there first and let's just go ahead and put this over here just rotate it a little bit just get it where we want it to go that looks fine with me and we're gonna go ahead and bring in another item let's say he's got uh, iron shovel and we're gonna move that one over here let's actually kind of get a better view here so let's just do like that and we'll have it kind of floating back there maybe Steve has some uh, some other good stuff on them. So I'm just gonna add a few more things and uh, we'll show you what to do with it after that. All right, so we've got four items set up. He's got his bow and his sword and his shovel and his food there. Uh, obviously he probably would most likely have a pickaxe on him, but this is me, so we forgot to add that. Anyway, uh, what we wanna do is have these items bounce pretty much the same way they would in Minecraft. Another thing I did, you may notice here, is I reduced the scale. Uh, sometimes I feel like the scaling of items in Minimator is a little bit off from how they would be in Minecraft. I didn't really scale down these, but you could scale them down a bit uh, to make them look a little better because the full size is kind of too big in my opinion. In any case, what we're going to do is go into our library here, and for our items, we're going to go ahead and turn on the bounce option. And as you can see here, they sit there and bounce. That's pretty much all they do because of that. And we're just going to turn that on for all of our items here. And there you go. You have this nice bounce effect. But obviously, that's not the entire effect. That's not what you want. They're just sitting there bouncing and Steve dies. So first of all, we obviously need to go ahead and create keyframes for all these. Uh, there's actually probably a faster way to do it, but we're just going to leave that be. I created the wrong one. And we're going to take all these and we're going to turn the visibility off. So what you get is that. And that's obviously not exactly what we want. We want that to be a lot better and we want them to kind of pop out from Steve. So what I'm going to do is copy paste these keyframes. Let's copy paste that there. We're going to have them right about there maybe. And I'm going to select all these and I'm going to bring them in to the center just like that. That's not exactly where we want them to be. Um, we probably want them to be about where the uh, particle spawner is. So I'm just going to move that over. And essentially, you know, you just want these to all be in the same location. So let's just make that about negative 20. And that puts it where we want it to be. So just as a note, I'm working from zero, uh, the, the position zero. This is where all new objects spawn in when you first create a project. So basically you want to figure out is where Steve is in the scene. As you can see here, he's at zero. But whatever these numbers are for you is what you want all these item numbers to be, like their location to be uh, when you have this origin point as we have here. So what I'm going to do is select these keyframes and I'm going to scale it down like so. And then just to get a look at what we're doing, I figured there's probably going to be another step to this, but let's just see what this looks like by itself. Let's go ahead and deselect all that and watch it. Doop. And you see there, they just kind of come out uh, very slowly and uninterestingly. 
So the first thing we want to do is go in a few frames. Let's just say maybe about four frames out. So we're going to one, two, three, and four. We're going to create more keyframes here and I'm going to raise these up a bit. So we want to see if we can make it look like they kind of come out like so. And the speed here is really slow. I'm going to move it in just a little bit, but we may want to add a transition to this. So I'm going to just see what we can do. We're going to leave that speed kind of slow for now. And let's try, let's see. Let's try the ease out and back keyframe transition. That doesn't look too bad. What do you guys think? As you can see, it kind of comes out. And we may want this to have an ease in as well. Let's try maybe an ease in sign. That's not too bad. We'll actually move this one in since we have that. And these could probably go up a bit more. Let's try that. Bring this in a tad, bring these over a little bit. Basically, we're just gonna play with this and try to get the look that we want. And of course, if that little bounce isn't looking good, I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but you could always use uh, different transitions and just see what gets you the results that you want. That one's kind of a little bit more gradual. Uh, we could do this one, so they kind of have this weird rampness to them. I'm gonna try just a basic kind of ease out on here. Like that, that gives me a little bit more control over how it looks and then I'm gonna bring in this to make the speed come out. Something like so. And then since we change that, we may want to bring this out as well. Alrighty, that's, that's pretty well, pretty good enough for the short amount of time that we're going to put into this today. Uh, but that's pretty much how you would do it. You want items that have the bounce effect enabled, and you just animate them to come out of a dead character like so. Obviously, the main points here are having them consolidated into one point where the character is. An easy way to get that to happen is have the character selected. So, or whatever the object may be. And when you spawn in a new item, it should spawn it uh, where your selection is. So that's a little tip if you're having trouble getting things to spawn. You don't want them to spawn way across from your on your scene uh, and whatnot. So you can have him selected. And as far as I know, uh, you should be able to have that happen very easily. There may be a setting somewhere that controls that. I'm not 100% sure. But if you have problems with that, I would recommend just checking out the settings. But as far as I know, that should be how it works by default. Anyway, uh, you just want to consolidate your items down there. You can have them scaled down or not, depending on what you want it to look like. And you kind of just give them a little bit of a raise and then out to where they're going to be on the ground. And then the bounce effect from the library here will take over the rest. And there you go. You got this nice little animation here. Steve dying and all of his stuff popping out. Now, obviously, this doesn't look the best. As I said, if I were actually making an animation, I would definitely want to improve on this, but that's the basics of how you can have that happen and mimic the look of Minecraft. So that's it, guys. Hope it was helpful. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends and your family and your pets, and I will see you in the next video.